In 2018, a storm on Lake Superior generated a wave that measured 29 feet high, taller than a three-story building. And no, that's not a tsunami. That's not the ocean. That's a lake in the middle of North America. Lake Superior has sunk more than 350 ships and claimed over 10,000 lives. Its waters are so cold that when divers finally located these wrecks decades later, they found perfectly preserved bodies still at their stations, looking as if they'd sunk just yesterday. This isn't just a lake, it's a place where the laws of nature seem to operate differently, where the water holds enough volume to flood the entire continental United States under one foot of water. Today we're exploring the geographical anomaly that indigenous people called Giche Gumi, the Great Sea, and why Lake Superior might be the strangest place in North America that most people know nothing about. And as always, this is Ali, and welcome back to Urban Atlas. Now, Lake Superior sits at the far northwestern edge of the Great Lakes system, straddling the border between the United States and Canada. If you've only seen it on a map, you might not grasp its true scale. It borders the Canadian province of Ontario to its north, and the states of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan to its south. But what makes Lake Superior really stand out is its size. With a surface area of 82,000 square kilometers, it's the largest freshwater lake by surface area in the entire world. The Caspian Sea is actually larger than Lake Superior by surface area, but its status as a lake is disputed. To put Lake Superior's size into perspective, you could fit the entire state of South Carolina inside it, or the country of Austria, with the room to spare. But what makes Lake Superior truly bonkers is not just its size, it's its volume. You see, this lake holds three quadrillion gallons of water. That's enough to cover both North and South America in a foot of water. And if you empty Lake Superior, it would take over 200 years for it to refill naturally from rainfall and rivers. The lake is so large that it creates its own weather systems. And it's so deep that its average temperature rarely rises above 4 degrees Celsius even in the summer. And its geography, that's where things get really interesting. But to understand Lake Superior's crazy geography, we need to travel back in time, way back, to about 1.1 billion years ago during what geologists call the Mid-Continent Rift. You see, the North American continent began to split apart along a 2,000 kilometer long crack. Magma rose from deep beneath the earth, creating massive volcanic eruptions. Had this process continued, North America would have been torn into two, creating a new ocean basin. But then something changed. The rifting stopped. The continent didn't split apart after all. But that massive wound in the Earth's crust remained, creating a huge depression that would eventually become Lake Superior. Fast forward to about 10,000 years ago. As the last ice age ended, enormous glaciers up to a mile thick carved and deepened this ancient rift. And when these ice sheets melted, they filled the basin with fresh water, creating the lake that we know today. And the evidence of this violent geological history is visible everywhere along Superior Shores. At Pitchard Rock National Lakeshore, you can see the colorful sandstone cliffs that were once at the bottom of that ancient rift. And that black volcanic basalt of Lake Superior's northern shore, that's billion-year-old lava once poured from those ancient rifts. And this unique geological origin story explains why Lake Superior looks more like an inland sea than a typical lake. It's essentially an ocean that never quite happened. Failed sea that became the world's greatest lake. Now, Lake Superior isn't just impressively wide, it's quite deep. The average depth is about 147 meters deep, but its deepest point plunges to an astonishing 406 meters deep. That's deep enough to completely submerge the Eiffel Tower, or hide a 40-story skyscraper with room to spare. And this extreme depth contributes to one of Superior's strangest features, its temperature. You see, the majority of Lake Superior's water remains near freezing year-round. Even at the height of summer, venture just a few feet below the surface and the temperature plummets. This creates a bizarre situation where you can get hypothermia on a hot August day. But these cold temperatures have created an unexpected benefit. They've perfectly preserved the estimated 350 shipwrecks scattered along Superior's bottom. The Edmund Fitzgerald, which sank in 1957, looks almost the same today as it did when it plunged to the depths all those years ago. And the lake's underwater topography is just as dramatic as what's above. 
Massive underwater cliffs, deep trenches, and underwater mountains create a landscape as varied as any mountain range. And this complex underwater landscape combined with Superior's vast size creates another ocean-like phenomenon, that being seiche waves. These are essentially inland tsunamis, standing waves that can cause water levels to fluctuate by several feet in minutes, making harbors drain and then suddenly flood without warning. If Lake Superior's underwater geography is dramatic, its 4,387 kilometer long shoreline is nothing short of spectacular. That's actually longer than the entire US coast from Maine to Florida. At the Apostle Islands, waves have carved elaborate sea caves into the red sandstone cliffs. And in winter, these caves transform into ice palaces as wave spray freezes into chandeliers of ice. Moreover, near Thunder Bay, Ontario, the sleeping giant formation creates one of the most striking silhouettes in North America. A massive mesa, but from a certain angle, perfectly resembles a giant lying on its back. And unlike typical beaches, many of Superior Shores feature black sand. And no, this isn't exotic imported sand, it's pulverized basalt from those billion-year-old lava flows we mentioned earlier. The lake has been grinding down volcanic rock for millennia creating beaches that look more like Hawaii than the Midwest. Perhaps the strangest feature of Superior shoreline is Isle Royale, the largest island in Lake Superior. This 72 kilometer long wilderness is essentially a piece of Canada that got stuck in American waters. That's because Isle Royale is located very close to the northern shore of Lake Superior. It's home to wolves and moose that crossed ice bridges from mainland Canada into Isle Royale. The Keweenaw Peninsula juts out 100 kilometers into the lake. Part of Michigan's Upper Peninsula, this area is home to one of the world's largest deposits of native copper, home to the first major copper mining boom in the United States. One of the most impressive things about Lake Superior is that it doesn't just sit passively in the landscape. No, you see, it actively shapes everything around it. The lake creates its own weather so distinct that meteorologists have special terms just for Superior's phenomena. When cold air passes over Superior's relatively warmer water in winter, it creates lake effect snow. Intense localized blizzards that can dump feet of snow in hours while areas just miles away remain sunny. And because of this, the Keweenaw Peninsula receives over 200 inches of snow annually thanks to this effect. In summer, the opposite happens. When warm air passes over Superior's colder waters, it creates a phenomenon locals call the lake breathing. Massive fog banks that can roll in with startling speed, dropping temperatures by 15 degrees in minutes. And in the coldest winter days, another strange sight appears, sea smoke. When the air is colder than the water, the lake seems to steam like a hot spring, creating ethereal fog that dances across the surface. And Superior's strange weather phenomenon creates bizarre contrasts. On its southern shore, you might find plants typical of northern Canada. But on its northern shore, protected from arctic winds by the lake's thermal mass, you may find species that grow hundreds of kilometers south. In a way, you can say Lake Superior is a geological paradox, a freshwater lake with the soul of an ocean. Its billion-year history has created a landscape of extremes. Deep freshwater trenches, a dramatic shoreline, unpredictable weather, and some of the most pristine wilderness left in North America. The water itself is another marvel, so clean and clear that in many places visibility extends over 100 feet. It contains 10% of all of the world's fresh surface water, a precious resource in an increasingly thirsty world. In a world where we think we've explored everything, Lake Superior reminds us that some of the Earth's most extraordinary places are hiding in plain sight, not in distant exotic locations, but right here in the heart of North America. It's not called Superior for nothing. And as always, if you like content like this, remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video if you like this video, comment below what you'd like to see next, and of course, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.